Life often has a way of making people feel small and unimportant. But if you find a friend, the experiences you share with that friend can sometimes be larger than life. Personally, I would have been fine spending the rest of my dog life just doing dog things. You know, like eating, sleeping, and playing. Oh, by the way, my name is... Those were the days when my life was, well, a typical dog's life. That's Dr. Island, my companion and friend. When he took me out, I ran around with him as if each day were the last. with the days. Another flea? Well, I guess that's just the price you pay for being cage-free. Cage-free? What are you saying? Oh, don't bother with that mutt, Klaus. What does he know anyway? Quiet, you mutt. Always starting trouble. Back in the day, I would have taken you out with my... Hey, whoa, relax yourself, Terminator. All I said was it's a beautiful day to get a flea. Terminator? I'm Governator, you mutt. Oh, not again. Always fighting back and forth. Don't let that mutt get you, Ilsa. He's just a mutt. You see, the duck knows what the superior specimen is. Ugh, all of you males are the same, always comparing your... All right, everybody ready for breakfast? Okay, me first. Quiet, you fool. We are always first. Okay, okay. I think the doc is putting a little too much of something in your dog chow. Finally, some food. Enough, stop bickering. I want to eat in peace. Lenny, one day, um, when the chip is ready, I'll teach you how to do that, okay? But first, let me get you something to eat, all right? But my food! Yes? Oh, hi, sir. We're from the cable company. The cable company? Yes, sir. It's the cable company. But I don't have a TV. Um. The gas company, sir. The gas company. The gas company? Gas? Klaus! Yes, sir. The gas company. You just said you were from the cable company. But, sir, you don't have a TV. Duh. <laughs> Wagner! Wag who? Arnold, we have intruders! I have to get rid of everything. Um, um, 
Intruders, let me out! Wagner can't see any of this. Experiments. Why are you waiting for? Oh no, do something! Give me my rocket launcher. I'll take care of this for you, Doctor. All my hard work. Oh, come on, I didn't eat yet. The chip. Cheat the chip. I have to do something about the. Hey, this has nothing to do with me. Chip. Let it up. Oh, I don't like the looks of this. Good luck, Lenny. Ouch. God, that really hurt. No, you're the only one with a small chip. The what? Try to me. find Razzle, and remember this. Don't let Wagner get a hold of that ship. <laughs> well, Hanky, I smell a gas leak. How about you? Tell Dr. Wagner he will never find the chip. Oh. See, Panky here has a pretty good nose. He can smell fear from miles away. Are you scared, Doc? Hand over the chip. You'll never find the chip. I'll ask for it one more time. The chip, Doc. Never. The chip, Doc. Never. Hand over the chip. No. Come on, hand over the chip. No. Hand over the chip. Say please. Please hand over the chip? No. But I said please. No, you said please hand over the chip. What's the difference? Huge difference. Peggy, shake his arms wildly. <laughs> Boy, all that excitement made me kind of hungry. Food. It smells like food around here. There's got to be something good to eat. I can't think clearly on an empty stomach. Oh, this looks good. Whoa. Hmm. Okay. dark and it sure smells like rain I don't smell so good when I get wet a dog in an alley in the rain what were they thinking what's with this chip who's dr. Wagner and fine razzle all this thinking is giving me a headache I really miss the doc I could really use a friend Hey, kid, looking for a friend? Marty! Get away from that filthy mud! Okay, okay. I don't smell that bad. I just need a friend. Something is... Whoa, hey, my eyes! What's going on? Hmm, my blood sugar, it must be low. I think I know how to do this. Press the pedal and voila! Hey, this looks good. And it's good for you too. Oh no! The uh, apes! in the best town in the world. We're the best people in the world. We are the world. Our children are the future. <laughs> 
of our world. Future, future, future. World, world, world. And now, Channel 8 investigates the mysterious missing children case that for the past six months has been plaguing Neuville, a town that practically glues its people to the ground so they won't leave and realize any dreams, is raising some questions about Neuvilleite's safety. In the last few months, there have been a number of unsolved kidnappings, with the only clue being an obscure black SUV that has been spotted in the neighborhood of the kidnappings. And now, on to sports with Dallas Hugermeyer. It is very important to have a career plan. The earlier you choose a career, the easier it will be to reach your goal. Before we begin the actual testing, I want to hear from you what your plans are for your future. Let me see a show of hands. Henry? I want my own law firm with major corporations as clients so I can insidiously manipulate world economics because then I'll be rich like my dad, Senator Gearson A. McKinley. Very ambitious. Who else? Rainbow. I want to be a supermodel so I can travel all around the world and buy the best clothes and get everything I want just because of my looks and be famous everywhere I go. Oh. So, Rainbow aspires to be an actress and Henry wants to be a Republican. Anyone else? How about you, Zach? What do you want to be when you grow up? You know, Mrs. Ripley? Watch it, Zach. I don't want to be a lawyer. I obviously don't want to be a model. I don't want to be a doctor, a dentist, nor do I wish to be a cardiologist. I want my future to be free from preconceptions and childish dreams. You no, know, Mrs. Ripley? 40 years ago, a kid stood in this very classroom and was asked that very question. A and do you know what he answered? He answered that he wanted to have a flower shop because of the look on his mother's face every time she bought flowers. And today, Mrs. Ripley, I gave that man a sandwich like I do every day on my way to school through the alley. So because John Parker Sr. doesn't have a future, I can't think about my future, Mrs. Ripley. How about the rest of you? Let's begin the testing. Everybody clear your desks. Only two number two pencils. You have 35 minutes for the first part, 25 for the second. Absolutely no talking. Once you have finished, put your pencil down and wait until time is over. Uh, no thanks, I, I think I'll pass. Either you do it here, Zach, or you can do it at the principal's office. Your choice. Really? A choice? That's new. Oh, why? You're First of all, my mom dropped me off at school 15 minutes late. Oh. And you know what kind of pressure you're no. under when you write for the bugle? Actually, it's no. Deadline, deadline, deadline. Deadline? Then Mrs. Ripley tells me that I haven't been to enough classes, and if I'm not at school tomorrow, she's gonna fail me. Uh, actually, I mean, what does she think I'm doing when I'm missing the classes? Hanging out with my friends and watching cartoons? You know, I kicked that habit a long time ago. Right. And then at 8 this morning, I had a meeting with the editor of the bugle to discuss my newspaper article. Well, last week's article was I have to have an article by next week, and I have no idea what to write about. I mean, I have to find a story. There must be something out there. You'll find something. I mean, you always do. Why aren't you in class? Let's just say Mrs. Ripley and I didn't see eye to eye. Again? Oh, 
I guess that's just the way the crumbles cookie. Uh, I, I mean, what are we going to do with you, Zach Dylan? I'll survive. I think. Becky, come on. We have work to do. All right, I'm coming. This is Zach. I got to go, but knock my window sometime. Hey, Becky. Yeah? Would you like to go to the Angie concert with me? Zach. Somebody already asked me. Besides, what would you do at a concert? <laughs> yeah, you're right. I mean, a, a concert, me. Hey, it's OK. Don't worry about it. Maybe next time. OK, Zach. Maybe next time. We swear, Dr. Wagner, the doc just wouldn't talk. If you hadn't put Dr. Ryland in a coma, we'd have the chip by now. But it doesn't really matter, because we think that the dog has the chip inside of the Sorry. It's okay. The dog. Tell me about the dog. Oh, uh, well, let's see. Uh, he's about two feet tall, mm -hmm. yellow hair. Mm -hmm. I want to say yellow. It's more of like a blonde, sort mm -hmm. of a, mm -hmm. like Brittany. But then she died as she went through that phase where she died it. I don't know why yellow. It, mm -hmm. Very cute face, mm -hmm. adorable. Shut it up. The dog, he ran away. But we managed to get his collar, and with Panky's nose, we think that we'll get the dog in no time. Thank you, Panky. Green on yellow. That's so wrong. <laughs> something a little more serious. Uh, we've already discussed the kidnapping epidemic here in our city. I need to ask you to do something. I need you to keep your eyes open, to be aware, and to be responsible. We will catch this evildoer! Yes. And now, for our next piece of entertainment, ladies and gentlemen, Ginger the Opera Parrot! <laughs> Great job, John. Once again, you killed him. Thanks, G. <laughs> uh, G, I want to talk to you about the... Uh... Breaking and entering at uh, Dr. Island's lab. Are you available on Saturday evening? 
my wife wants to invite you over for dinner. I, I told her you maybe could do a few of your uh, tricks, your voices, you know. Uh, but what about the doc? The doc? Dr. Island's lab. Oh, right, right. Uh, don't worry about that. I put Fartman and uh, Harley on that case. You promised me I could have the next case that came on. You know what? We need help with the paperwork. So you can get over there right now and uh, start on the report. So, Saturday night, John, right? It'll be great. Hey, maybe you can do some of those dog voices. <laughs> I need to find a friend that can help me. How about this guy? Herschel Lipschitz. Yeah, he looks grumpy. Hmm, maybe her. Uh, never home. Then again, maybe not. Oh, yoga. Flexible, that could be interesting. Vegetarian? Nah. Hey, now that's more like it, a kid. Zack. Oh, here's my chance. Hey, kid, wait, you left something behind. Zack, Zack, you forgot something. You forgot this. Wait. What do I have to do to get this kid to notice me? Hey, thanks. Smart dog. Hi, Zach. No collar. You noticed. Are you lost? Lost? Well, technically no, but... Hungry? Hungry, yes, I'm always hungry. You are hungry. You read my mind. All right, come on. Let's go get something to eat. Hallelujah. <laughs> Uh, one block, two half and half. Sweet. Okay, chop, chop. Double chop. Let's go. Hey, I'm supposed to be part of this investigation. No, you're supposed to be assisting the detectives. We are the detectives. You need to get us some coffee. Go. Coffee? Black, two sugars. Just to let you know, my mom's allergic to dogs, so I'll sneak you into my room until we figure out what to do with you. She's not anal, is she? What should I call you? Well, the doc called me Lenny. How about Hemingway? A cat's name? Ah, it's not a dog's name. How about Holden? Well, I was thinking Duke or... Oh, I know. <laughs> what? You like Holden, too? Holding oh, what? You don't like Holden. Ah, why can't dogs just talk? Hey, kid, if you heard some of my new thoughts, you'd have me put to sleep. I think this kid needs a friend as much as I do. Ooh, nice green lawn. And so lush. Dr. Wagner, did you love or hate your father? I loved my father in many ways, and in many ways I hated my father. If you mean my natural father, I never really knew him because he was, of course, a trapeze artist in the Jack, circus. Is that you? Many, many, I'm making your favorite schnitzel. Uh, my, my schnitzel. Yeah, Mom. Thanks. I love you. All right. She is the worst cook in the entire world. Hey, meet me upstairs. I'll go get us something to eat. Wow, Mom. Sounds great. Yeah. When you were in the circus yes. with your family. Yes. Uh, did you have a special skill? Yes, I did. I used to juggle things. I, I used to juggle... What, well, I actually got into a lot of trouble because I used to juggle live animals, uh, which is not really allowed. I used to like to take cats and uh, hamsters and occasionally uh, an eagle, you know, but it would be wrapped up in um, tape. Well noted. And now a Channel 8 update. Dr. Island is still in a coma, doctors at Newyville Hospital say. Doctor? Doctor? Yeah, Dr. Island's my owner. That's your owner? Having trouble keeping up with me, kid? But he's gonna be all right. I really hope so, too. Jorgensen has been stated as saying, yeah, 
the birds are landing on the cows' backs. Are you Film at talking to me? Talking? You can hear me? <laughs> I'm definitely hearing you. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. I gotta kick that cartoon habit. You mean like Scooby-Doo? Holy, Holy Sababa! Dad, are you sure you're gonna be out? Choo! Bless you! Don't let her in. I'm not ready to meet the parents. Are you sure you're gonna be okay, Ella? Choo! Bless you! Listen, Zach and ladies and gentlemen, this is important. We're going on vacation for a couple of days with Becky's parents. Your uncle, that clown, he'll be staying with you. Choo! Bless you! All right. Why are you talking? Can you hear me or just what I'm thinking? Yes, I can hear you. Wow, this means, oh, you better grab a pencil, kid. Now, have you ever eaten dog food? No, I didn't think so. Why? Because it's <laughs> gross. When you think of food, you think of steaks, hamburgers, and even hot dogs. <laughs> but I try to stay away from spicy foods and beans. I don't have to tell you why. Wait a second, wait a second. How the heck are you talking? Good question. <sighs> Where shall I begin? I was just a cute little puppy when the doc first found me. Dr. Island took me home, fed me, and gave me a nice cozy bed, too. Life was simple then, just a dog having a doggy kind of life. What's your name? The doc named me Lenny. How come you can talk? Uh, actually, I'm just figuring all this out for myself as we speak. Everything is just so different. I mean, I feel different, but not just feel different. I'm learning, thinking, rationalizing. Now that I think about it, I can remember. Remember what? Those guys. They were from Braino, Dr. Wagner's company. He sent those guys for the chip. Dr. Island said to make sure they don't get a hold of the chip, but it's stamped in me. You saw them? Sort of. There was a big guy. Never got a look at his face, but I don't think I've seen the last of them anyway. If they want the chip, then they want me. Oh boy, this isn't good. I'm about to become another statistic. And the doc, what am I gonna do? Don't worry, Lenny, we'll figure something out. Do you think we should go to the police? Yeah, <laughs> they'll believe this. Yeah, you're right. Who would believe a kid anyway? Okay, whoever it is, stall him. I'll think of something. Oh, Lenny, you go hide. Hey, what are you doing here? Can I use your computer? My computer? I need to use your computer. My computer is crashed, sorry. You just bought it last week. Computers. Is everything okay? What, <clears throat> Zach? Are you ready? Uh, we gotta go. Well, be right there, Dad. Your parents are on vacation with my parents. Hey, Zach, son, we're... Pressed for time. Let's go, my little buddy, champ. I'm helping, Daddy. Zach, what's going on? Nothing. Nothing's going on now. Oh my gosh, when did you get a dog? Is your mom allergic? Well, you see. Oh, he's so cute. Thanks, dollface. You're welcome. You're welcome, you cute little thing. Zach? Yeah? I'm gonna slowly turn around now, and candidly I prefer the utter humiliation of you having a tape recorder in your hand and a camera in the corner than the fact that your dog just thanked me. In English. Anytime, babe. Oh. My. God. Yeah? Hi! We're from the dog company. Uh-oh. The dog company? Yeah, the dog company. Those are the two guys from Braino. How did they know to find me here? Hey, a little to left. Oh, hey, pictures. Good. What the heck is the dog company? Oh, this is so good. Cheese. Talking dog. I, this is going to be everywhere. I'm going to be like what Barbara Walters talking about. Hey. I mean, I can interview Barbara Walters. This is... Oh, this is beyond comprehension. I'm just so good. Yes, there is such a thing as a dog company. No, there isn't. Yes, there is. Oh, yeah? What does it do? Come on, kid, let us in. No, 
I'll tell you one more time. Let us in, kid. No. Come on, kid, let us in. Say please. Please let us in, kid? And uh, no. But I say please. That's it. Hey, look! I think it's the two guys from Brano, but don't worry, I love the ah. door! Run! I stamp your forehead and express mail you to jail. Oh? <laughs> That's for the doc. Uh, guys, guys, I think we should get going. Zach! Interrupt me while I'm singing. Sorry. It's okay. It, it was quite beautiful. Thank you. Did you find the dog? Uh, sir. <laughs> the dog. Well, I don't know how to put this. The, the, the... Come on! Well, he can talk. Talk? Talk, he can talk. Talk? Talk. Hmm? The dog can talk? Yes. I thought you'd kick the cartoon habit. I did. Right. That shouldn't have happened. Chip should only make him intelligent. You listen to me, Hanky. Okay. And Panky. You find me that dog, or you'll be working at the post office when I found you. Is that clear? No! <clears throat> not that, not the post office, please, no! Then we need that dog! Yes, sir! I, I mean, sir, yes, sir! So those two are the same guys that knocked out Dr. Island. Same guys. First president of the United States. George Washington. Becky, you smart. And who this guy we're going to now? Razzle, he's a friend of the doctor, just up the street here. What's the lowest place in the world? The Dead Sea. Becky, he's really smart. So you think this guy can help us? I'm sure he can help. Capital of Cambodia? Phnom Penh. Becky, really, he knows everything. Where are we going? Razzle. Who's Razzle? A friend of the doctor. Is it far? No. no. Do you think he could help us? Yes. yes. Tina Turner's real name. Anna Mae Bullock. Becky, he's smart. Really. Really, 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 really smart. 
This is gonna be the best story the Bugle has ever published. Here, this is it. That? It's a dump. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. He's a really great guy. I mean, he's been acting a little weird since the accident, but he's fine. You'll see. Follow me. Welcome. is huge. Wait a second. Dr. Island told me a few years ago he was working on something for Pavlov Laboratories. He mentioned a fellow scientist named Dr. Wagner, who had started to play around with some of the experiments. Dr. Island felt that he had to turn him in, so they fired Dr. Wagner. What were the experiments? It was a chip that programs dogs, doing away with the costly and time-consuming teaching process. What do you mean? Say you want to get a police dog, right? Well, with the chip that the dog was working on, all you need to do is take the chip, stamp it on the dog, and you've got a trained canine. Oh, great. I'm an experiment. How humiliating. Suddenly, I have indigestion. So you want a seeing-eye dog? You got it. You want a bomb-sniffing dog? You got it. All you need is that chip. So how come Lenny can talk? I don't know. I don't think the dog meant for that to happen. There are two men after us, and they want the dog. I think I know someone who can help us. His name is Chun Yung Yong. Ying Yang. Ying Ying. Leibovich. He is so powerful, he once fought off 54 ninjas all by himself. Oh. Fifty-four ninjas. Oh, he's not much to look at, but don't let his appearance deceive you. He is brutal. He's sharp. He's lethal. Kind of like you. What do you mean? Sometimes it's better not to ask too many questions, oh young. <laughs> Questa la barba, questo biglietto, tutto mi chiedono, tutto mi vogliono, tutto mi chiedono, tutto mi vogliono, tutto mi chiedono, per la cattura, per la barba. Hey Chief, hey guys. I've been thinking about the Dr. Island case. Is that really John or is it just the sound of him walking in here talking about our case? Harley? Quiet. What have you got for us, John? I think it has something to do with the Doc's dog, sir. I think this has something to do with the Doc and Enderman. Franklin, shut up! Sorry, Chief. A dog, John? Yes, sir. Well, let me break it down to you. When I went to the crime scene, I saw there was an unfinished doggy bowl in the doctor's lab with a name on it. Lenny. Now, there was this doggy bowl, but no doggy. I noticed there were scratch marks on the window, which suggested some kind of altercation, so of course, I decided to take, um, paw prints. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. Paw prints. <laughs> Get out of here, boys. I want a word alone with John. Yeah, but Chief, I want to hear... <laughs> John! John. John. You know, I, I truly loved your mother. <clears throat> but your father was my best friend. I don't want you working on this case anymore. But cheese. Never up! John, that is an order. Get out of here. You know what? I don't need this. You don't need a badge to make coffee. Take care, Chief.
Hey, look who it is. Ace Ventura. <laughs> yeah, look at the dork. say they saw a mysterious black SUV in the area where the teenage Lady, kidnapping that's occurred. a Hummer, not an SUV. Have any information, please call Chief Greenwald's office at area code 555-555-555. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's a good shoe. That number again, area code 555-555-555. She must have known somebody to get five, that five. job. We'll be right back after these messages. Hello? Kathy. No, Mom. You're still alive. Get off the phone. Gotta go, Mom. I love you. Bye-bye. In a related story, the stolen cookies have been found in the basement of Principal Waters' home. Half the cookies are missing and presumed eaten. Principal Waters is still sticking to his story that hooligans placed them there to discredit him. His wife, Marjorie, the president of the Junior League, concurred. So, what are you writing? It's my Pulitzer Prize winning article. About Lenny. Yeah, and Razzle, I mean, what a character. It'll probably be a great article. What I'm, I'm gonna Maybe a little hard to talk. Cutting music class is a shame. That was probably your best one. Oh, I think that Why Today's Kids Movie Suck is a pretty close second. I didn't know you read my articles. It's the only thing worth reading in the Bugle. How come we don't hang out like we used to? Well, uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess two years apart isn't always two years. I mean, yeah, when you were eight and I was six, it was only two years. But now that you're 14 and I'm 12, just a lot more. You know, it will never be the same. ¿Qué quieres decir? Nunca será lo mismo? Lo que quiero decir es que nunca será igual. No más flu, trivial pursuits, y mucho menos name the Supreme Court case. La gente crece, Dad. Yo crecí. Tienes que entender. Mentira. Mentira, mentira, mentira. score was? 48 to you, 50 to me. Right, you came back to take the lead. Best moments of my life. But you know I always let you win though. Um, no. Well, yes. Um, nah. -uh. Yeah, huh? Nah. -uh. Oh, yeah, huh? Nah. -uh. 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 I just need you to 49 to 50. Baba. Hey, that hurt! Stop! <laughs> you make me feel so differently. You guys are out. I know. Follow me. Okay, kids, go find Chen Yun Yang. Where is he? What the fuck? Chen Yun Yang will be at these exact coordinates. But that's all the way back to the park. How are we gonna get there? <laughs> so take two and get out of here. Holy, Holy Sababa! Thanks, Razzle. Dr. Wagner, get a hold of Lenny! Mm -hmm. Wait a sec! There's something happening here! This is preposterous! This is ridiculous! This is all the words to end with us! I'm not kidding! This makes me angry! Oh god, what is the problem? You're not supposed to be standing there, you make me very angry! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
told you not to bother me when I'm exercising. Sorry. It's okay. Did you get the dog? <clears throat> well, it goes like this. Did you get the dog? No. Ah, how could I take these people seriously? Come back to headquarters. But, sir, the dog. Hanky, come back to headquarters. Yes, sir. I, I mean, sir, yes, sir. <clears throat> Then bring Panky. <laughs> Time to nab another kid. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, isn't that the guy from Police Academy? Lenny, not one word. Fartman's kid. So humble. He said that once you fought off 54 ninjas all by yourself. 54 ninjas, right, right. We need your help. You know what? I think that's enough. What do you mean? I mean, I got the joke, kid. You don't have to tell me twice, all right? Just let it go. But Razzle sent us. Razzle. This, you, look, I tell you what. Why don't you... Go back to this Razzle character or whoever put you up to this and tell them that I, Officer John Wyndham, is not hey, gonna take this anymore. He's not Chun Yong Ging. Oh, forget it. Who is this guy? You're a police officer? Well, I was. Razzle never mentioned anything about you being a police officer. Then you need to help us. Whoa. A ninja cop. Listen, I gotta go. I'm gonna leave now, okay? There are two men after us. You're not gonna help us? Nobody said it was gonna be easy, kid. Maybe I shouldn't have put him in this situation. I don't understand. Razzle said he'd help us. What are we doing, Zach? Oh, no. I think we should go to the police. Oh, yeah, and, and tell them what? Hey, everybody, we're the kids with the talking dog. You don't have to be so cynical. I, I want to be cynical. Everybody's cynical. Why can't I be cynical? I don't see how this is helping. Yeah, well, you don't see a lot of things. What's that supposed to mean? Besides, what do you care? Scared you might not get that front page article about Lenny the Wonder Dog? Grow up, Zach. Here's Hanky and Pranky. Holy Sababa! Come on, let's get out of here. Let's get him! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
friends over there. Oh, but we were awesome. I mean, we totally showed them. Becky, come on. If you want to see your girlfriend again, give us the dog. And in other news, the city of Newyville is all hyped up for the upcoming Angie concert to be held tonight at the Dr. Richard Wagoner Auditorium. In a empty room, painted colors falling ashes in my eyes. I just had enough of crying for you. You have turned my blooming flowers into dust. Take a look at what you've left behind. You're so blind, that's why you don't. Okay. I just want to know why anyone would rehearse a perfectly good dance routine and then kill it by dancing like a big heavy cow. A big moo, I can't dance heavy cow. Alphonse, Julian, any ideas? Rupert, you don't dance like oxen. You're lovely, Rupert. You dance like a hippo, but not a lovely dancey hippo, like a big fat hippo that doesn't know how to dance and has one of his legs cut off. That kind of hippo, Rupert, yes! Now what? We got something for you. Sorry. It's okay. If it wasn't for me, none of this would have happened. Don't say that. That's it, Zach. Make the deal. Exchange me for Becky. No, oh, Lenny. That's out of the question. I was trying to think. Who can help us? I mean, before you came along, well, she's my only friend. I'm sorry I got you into this, kid. Feeling I'd find you here. Where's your friend? Okay, tell me again. Who are they? The two guys that work for Dr. Wagner. He wants the dog. You mean Dr. One of the most respected guys in this town, Wagner? Wants to get two guys to kidnap a dog. Yeah, he wants Lenny. Lenny? Yeah, Lenny. Dr. Island's dog? Yeah, Lenny. Now, why would Dr. Wagner want Dr. Island's dog? He has some sort of chip in him. You see, Dr. Island was working on a special chip for dogs. Wait, well, how do you know all this, kid? Razzle! I can't take it anymore! So many questions, we don't have that much time! All right, come on, Lenny, you just take it. Okay, okay. See? Now do you believe me? No. I told you. No, just... What we can't do is walk into Braino without a plan. When you're right, you're right. Thank you. Stop! 
So, what's the plan? Actually, it's very simple. Okay, Lenny and me will handle this. You wait here, I go up top, grab a brick, drop it down, you scream, they come out, I jump on top of them, brick their heads, and we get inside, no problem. Nothing but swish. Okay, I'll tell you what. I stay here, you go up Ugh, there. I never a send a man to a do brick, a dog's job. On head, and we're set, nothing but net. Hey there, you little puppy dog. Or, we stay here, Lenny goes there. No, that's stupid, he's a dog. Yeah, come on out of here and look at this puppy dog. That's about the cutest puppy dog you ever seen. Oh, my lord. What kind of breed do you uh, think he is? I think he's a little cutie breed. I know. I super, super Guys, I'm a dog, not a baby. That's the stupidest plan I've ever heard. Coast is clear. Today? So uh, on what floor do you think they're holding Becky? Uh, oh, here it is, Ted. Uh-oh, not again. Remember this floor. Come on, Lenny. Hey, John. Oh, my gosh. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to work in the Brain O Corporation. Why? To help Dr. Wagner rule the world. Good. Next question. What is Tina Turner's real name? That's one of the kidnapped kids. Hi. We gotta do something. Wait, wait, wait. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. Free! Like a popsicle! Finally, I have you in my fist. Where's Lenny? Ah, as we speak, the dog is being analyzed. Let him go, you nasty sack of shit! Hey! What's the language, kid? We want to stay away from PG-13. What are you doing with the kids? Well, well, well. Smart boy like you, not able to figure it out? <laughs> yeah. Kids of the future. If you want to control the future, you have to control the kids. Your dog, or should I say, my dog, has a chip in him that poor Dr. Island thought he could hide. It's the smart chip. See, after I resigned from Dr. Island's team at the Pavlov, I... He fired you. You say potato, I say potato. You say tomato, I say tomato. Potato! Potato! Tomato! Tomato! Let's call the whole thing off. Shut up! Sorry. <clears throat> it's okay. See, I thought if humans can get dogs to do what they want them to do, then surely I can get humans to do what I want them to do. It's a simple matter of technology. I run a very large corporation. As you can see, I need very loyal employees. <laughs> I found if I insert the chip that Island's invented with a little twist from me, then will no stupid kids grow up to be stupid adults. They have but one goal in mind, to work for me. In the end, I'll have enough manpower to rule the world! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
little girl. My loneliness is killing me. Hmm. What? An article. I mean, I with a nutcase villain like this one, still I'm going to be collecting royalties from the movie. And I think giving a free concert is a very good way to start getting away with it. Let the stamping begin! Ha ha ha! What? Do you have it, Dr. Wagner? We scanned the dog and we have the formula. We'll have the stamper ready right away. Excellent. Well, I guess I'll see you all in ten years as my employees. <laughs> okay, stamp the kids, get rid of the cop. No, I tell you what, stamp the cop and get rid of the kids. No, no, I tell you what, stamp that kid, get rid of that kid and let the cop go. Or stamp that kid, get rid of the cop and let the other kid go. <laughs> you know what? Get rid of them all, including the dog. Au revoir, mes enfants. Hello, Panky. Go ahead, Panky. They're all yours. I'll go take care of the dog. Hello, Leonard. I bet you wish you were a cat, don't you? Because then I'd have to get rid of you eight more times. Crash laser, fire! <laughs> This is for the neutering! Alright, Lenny! <laughs> Rope laser, fire! get you two free sessions at the Newyville Cartoon Habit Rehabilitation Center. And now, are you ready?
them? All right, I'll be back. I'm not staying here. I'm gonna go get Wagner. Let's go. No, Becky, you wait here with Lenny. No way, Zach. Listen, Becky, I don't want to lose you again. Are you sure you're gonna be okay? I'll survive. Thanks. What are you doing here? This concert is a setup. get away with a lot of bad things in the world. I'll never let you get away with this. <laughs> Little boy, this world is ruled by the people who know how to get away with doing the bad things. That's just how things are. If you're going to be happy, you're going to have to learn to let go. Go with the flow of it and accept it. John, Dr. Wagner is a great man. He has done so much good for this city. Chief, I'm afraid you're gonna have to believe me on this. Uh, John, John, <laughs> You know, your father saved my life once. <laughs> and your mother. Chief! <laughs> I'm turning you in. <laughs> I was going to believe you. Just a little kid. I'm Dr. Wagner. How about we pull the plug on Wagner's show? They should do it. My plan will work, little boy. Because no one believes in children anymore. All their parents give them is eight hours a day of television. Today, television is like a child's surrogate mother. I'm only giving them what the parents can't give them. When each one of those kids is stamped with my chip, they'll be getting a future. <laughs> my plan will work, because no one believes in you anymore. But I still believe. <laughs> yes. I believe. You know, Dr. Wagner, maybe you're right. Maybe people have given up on children. Maybe we kids don't really have anyone to care for our future. But listen to this, Dr. Wagner. That does not mean we can't care for ourselves. We are a lot tougher than you think. Us kids, we'll make our own future if we have to. Way to go, Zach. Run? Sir? Yes, sir. Why don't you do something more interesting? Go on, go out, go to nightclubs. Look at you. What does that t-shirt mean? Oh, it's a question mark. Is that why? So people say, what does a t-shirt mean? And you go, oh, it's a question mark. Oh, very funny. <laughs> yes, sir. My pleasure. Mm. Oh. Wait a second. You can't do this to me. I'm Dr. Wagner. I own this town. No, please. Wait. No, I'm sorry, Mommy. I know you want to kill. Uh, I... I... Uh, 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 we actually did it. <laughs>
Whoa. Cheers. That's not funny. Clown. <laughs> you more on it. Oh! Sweet God, it burns. We live. So what's the score now? In the best town in the world. 50 to me, 49 to you. Okay. We have the best people in the world. 50 to 50. We are the world. Nice one. It's a baba. Our children are the future of our world. Future, future, future. World, world, world. Education. Bye, John. Uh, hero of the hour. Congratulations. Hey, thank you, thank you. Uh, pretty good article. Yeah. She's a great writer. They did take out the chip, right? No more talking Lenny. It's probably best. I know. So, uh, what you gonna do now? I'm gonna see Becky. We're gonna watch the Learning Channel. Learning Channel? Yeah. Way too many cartoons in this movie. Yeah, I know. Well, I got to, um, go back to the station. A new case? Every day. Hey, why don't you teach me some karate moves? Kid, I told you, I don't do kung fu. So humble. You gonna be all right? I'll survive. You I ain't worried about. Take care of yourself, you hear me? All right, I'll smell you later. Bye, John. <laughs> the town of Newyville will never be the same again. Actually, after that adventure, none of us will. Let me give you the lowdown. Dr. Island is working on a whole new invention with his friend Razzle. Hanky and Panky are back delivering the mail. Becky's article was a huge success, and as for Zack, well, you'll see. You go, Zack! are the future. And I'll tell you the truth. I think we need more kids with question marks on their shirts. Just to let you know, a kid who has enough courage to confront his own fears against all odds, that's not just different. That's special. Let's see. Lenny Dillon. That's a good name. I don't think dogs have last names. So you could be the first. Did you just talk? Sure did. Holy Sababa, Lenny, you can talk? Let's just keep it our own little secret. Hey, would you look at that tail? Lenny, behave. Jeez, behave, he tells me. You know, in dog years, I'm about nine years older than you are, kid. Hey, Zach? Yeah? Now that, you know, nobody's around, uh, can we lose the leash? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay.